Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I am finally getting into a new Zombies game and recording it for you too. I'm so excited to finally be back to doing this. I said it in the last video, but for anyone that missed it, or for those of you that know me, like I'm a big fan of Zombies, and I've been making Zombie videos for a very, very long time, so I'm excited to do this. So, for the first video, I'm just going to jump in so I can experience it. You're going to experience it with me, like we'll just kind of go over it together. And then we'll get more into, you know, like, what happens after that. See, so yeah, I don't expect to, like, you know, get to round 50 or something like that on solo by myself for the very first go. I mostly just want to, like, kind of check out the game, you know? Oh. Well, apparently we have to do a create a class. It's interesting, though, because... Didn't look like I could put any attachments on. This is where it started, strike team. Let's get some answers. Oh, hello. All right. Oh, that's one less screamer. That's super weird that they have uh, health bars. You know. I don't even know what the hell I just picked up. Just picked up something. Okay, what's this? Turn on the power first. Okay. You know, you're always used to kind of like guessing how much health the zombies have, you know? Break the zombie! It's kind of interesting to be able to pick a starting weapon and to have this much, you know, like a multitude of ammo for said weapon rather than just starting with a pistol and a combat knife like you traditionally do, you know? I don't know what I'm picking up. I guess it's probably stuff for crafting? Probably gonna leave that one alive so that I can... Oh, see, I even have a mini-map where, like, I can see him occasionally. See? Like, I don't know, that's crazy. Is he still running around? Well, yeah, he is, okay. Uh, so I can make grenades, a health pack. Hmm. Oh, unlock the All right. Just so you guys know, in this particular episode, like, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of, like, running around looking for Easter eggs type things. Like, that's not the type of exploration I'm doing. I really just want to try to get a feel for the map. I'm going to open this up so that we can keep exploring while we just have that one zombie. Okay, so we can buy an MP5 off the wall. So, starting with an MP5 may not be, like, super necessary. These look like actual buildable barricades, because up until now I hadn't really seen any buildable barricades, so to speak. Okay, that requires power. Um. Mm. Stamina up. Drink to run faster. Okay. Plant explosive a thousand bucks, which obviously I can't afford. So, okay. I think probably the best use of my money right now would be to. Can I still afford that pistol? Wouldn't mind a backup. Always carry a sidearm. Uh, so, something that I used to do all the time back in the day, and something that I was uh, pretty well known for like within the zombie community was challenges um, oh, I like that there's a timer for the insta kill so I know exactly how long it's going to last um, so I always used to do some sort of a challenge to make the game more difficult create my own rules if you will oh 
they drop equipment. That's cool. Bonus points. Nice. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can keep a zombie alive again for round four so I can do more exploration without having to worry about stuff. Can I clear this up here, or is this... No, okay. I didn't think so. So, anyway. Yeah, so challenges, right? So, the first challenge I ever did, we called the four-year challenge. Um, which, very simply, uh, what it was is... You can't leave the very first room. So in this map, it would just be this open area. You can't open any doors. You can't do anything. The only thing that you could do would be interact with anything that was available in the room. So if the room, if the room had like, uh, if the room had you know, like, weapons on the wall and stuff like that, like, you could buy it, you know? And that was the whole point. Of course, you know, when I made that challenge, the map that I was doing it on was Canada Air Toten, the theater, if you guys remember the theater from Black Ops. Um, yeah, we called it the four-year challenge because you were, like, in the four-year of a building, more or less. And <laughs> um, But pretty much every zombie map since then, like, I've done a version of that challenge and uh, at least you know while I was recording and stuff okay so we can blow that up it seems like we can blow that up but the arrows aren't suggesting that's the way to go nope because we need power for that so I guess that is the next way to go god I would love to have jug too huh ooh spaz with four attachments nice that's pretty good well, let's get a mystery weapon going. I'm going to replace the MP5, probably, if I can. A sentry turret. That's actually hilarious. That would be, obviously, tremendously helpful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually, I'll probably have to go back and, like, re-watch a bunch of my old zombie movies from my old... Uh, channel to try to figure out like what it is hmm, a knife that's not really what I want ooh yeah I'll probably go back and watch a bunch of my old videos to try to figure out like what exactly I used to do for challenges it's been a while and we'll probably bring back a bunch of the old ones, for sure. Ooh, these guys are getting Infected threat removed. significantly tougher. Yeah, these guys are, wow, significantly more health. strong quick. I really like the health bars because it really shows you like how strong they actually are getting. You know? It's pretty cool. God, man, I love playing zombies. This is great. Just shooting into a mass of zombies like that. Sure, you know what? I just thought of something that's massively different from older zombies that like literally just occurred to me. Um, so I'm getting points, or currency, from killing the zombies. It used to be, of course, that you would just get, it wasn't like a currency, so to speak, it was just like a point system, but you would get those points. Oh, 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 out of ammo, okay. You would get those points from just even shooting the zombies, so like a strategy that I would often have would be to, uh, like in Kino Der Toten, I'll use that as an example, a lot of people that know zombies know that map. Uh, 
you know, I would kite the zombies around the map, right? And then I would, you know, all the zombies would be behind me. Taking this SMG. Right? And then because all the zombies were behind me, I could just shoot into the... Ooh, nice. This is actually pretty good. Um... You would Undead shoot into the cluster of zombies, and, you know, when they die, you would get whatever, like 100 points, 110 points, whatever it was, right? Depending on how you killed them, really. Um, we're going to put down the sentry. Oh. had an underpowered weapon like it could be late game you know i could be on like round 50 but as long as i had some sort of a gun you could shoot into the cloud of zombies and you would actually get a lot of points because you'd be getting 10 points for every bullet that hit the zombies okay i'm gonna leave these guys alive because there's not that many left um, but yeah, so you would get a ton of points just from shooting into a cloud of zombies. You know, you would get like an LMG with a ton of bullets and just rip into them, you know? Oh. Hey, eyes open. Sigan didn't suggest anyone else at the site. Okay. Looks like our intel was right on the money. What is the next time for us for our attachments there? They did something here, and it opened the portals around the globe. Is that your assessment, Mr. CIA? Pretty much. My contact may have gotten himself killed in trying to provide you additional insight. You just down to revive yourself. Project nice. M Station was a Nazi experiment gone awry. Abandoned in 45. The Soviets found it soon after. Sealed it up. We'll know more once we get the power on. Okay, so we're back out. Cool. Well, that's actually really good, because now the map loops. Having a loop in zombies is really important, especially in solo, because you have to be able to kite them around. Wait, does it loop? Oh, I thought I opened back out to the outside. I did not. This does not loop. Not yet, anyway. I still have another wall. Which, I could take down this wall. Oh, a new zombie spawned in. That's unfortunate. Now these guys are running. Hello. I really wanted to look around some more. Um, okay, well. Quick revive will work as a self-revive, so that's good. Um, I guess we should try to get the power turned on now that these guys are running. Okay, so there's an obstruction. Taking damage. Awesome. Um, should I have done that? What does that say? Prove yourself. To the victor goes the spoils. Okay. Ooh, an AK 74U would be nice. Oh, hello. as I can with this magic pistol of magicalness while I can so that the area kind of clears out and then I'll revive myself. Yeah, boxing myself in was not a smart idea. Wait, I have that special too. I need to figure out what that does right now. Not enough apparently. Way out. Oh, 
full max ammo. Oh my god, that would have been so useful. Awesome. Don't look at me while I oh my god, I literally have no ammo. Okay. Um, I got an uncommon reward though, so maybe I should just go claim the reward before I worry about anything else. I need to get these zombies out. Of the oh, an ammo cache. Oh, I did not know that that's what that was. That's super helpful, obviously. Okay, so we'll go back to the ammo cache if we need it. Let's go see what our reward is first. More stuff. Reward station. Oh, fuck. So it spits out a... Uh, hold on now. It spit out a thing. A... Um, of some kind. That's actually pretty good. 250 bucks to get full ammo. Oh, it's only for one gun, though. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, we're gonna hit the mystery box. That's what we're gonna do. Nice. I'll make some noise. Hello, friend. Oh, you're slow. Let's leave you alive. Nice. Oh, not slow anymore. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Power, power, power. Uh, locked door. Alright. Oh, cool. We had to get something open, right? Uh, golly, how much shit is locked down here? Oh god. Dead man neutralized. Okay, so this looks like it just loops. So it's probably just for looping zombies, not necessarily for going anywhere useful. Okay, and we got an RPD on the wall. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so there's... Jesus Christ. It's so dark in here. We have got to get the power on. Unlock door. 1750. Okay. Fuck, switch it close. Cornering myself right now. Oh, yeah, I'm very cornering myself right now. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Shotgun is very effective. Reload time is an hour and a half, but it's very effective. This is a great kite area. We just got the damn power on. What the hell is that? or whatever. I'm definitely not making, like, a good use of them. Oh, shit. That's actually a problem. There weren't that many zombies left. I could have just saved it. We gotta get this open. We get this open. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. 
Okay. Uh oh. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Terminal. What's that for? Activate. Yeah, I did turn the power on. Wait, are we in the beginning area? This is the beginning area. Nice. Which means there is Down a loop. We have created a loop with the power on. Okay. So we made it to round 10. That's, I mean, I feel like we're doing pretty good for our very first time ever playing this map. So obviously we have to do something with the terminals. It looked like they had to be, like, synced up in some sort of way. Oh, something terrible is happening. That is clear. Oh. These are these hellhounds. Or plague hounds. Whatever the fuck they're called. Those things. Oh, yeah. They, like, explode into, like, fussy badness. So that's good to know. They can jump. Seems like pretty well. Raptor One has an exfil window open, strike team. Call it in if you need to bug out. Really? Hey, milestone. How do you exfil radio? Okay. Alright. So I could technically exfil if I want to. I know there's a uh, an operator that you unlock by exfilling successfully three times. If all I gotta do is get to round 10 to exfil, like, that's honestly not that difficult. Like, this is my very first time playing, and obviously I pretty easily got here. That is a big bomb. That's what that is. In case, in case you weren't paying attention. Okay, so terminal, terminal. So the exfil is temporary. Good to know. Okay, we got speed hole, which is obviously super useful for a shot. Kill them, they get like sucked up. Huh. Is 
There's definitely a... Wow. What is this? What am I holding? Oh, it's one of those distraction things. Nice. Oh god! No! It's interesting that when I kill them, they go flying away now. I really want to play with, like, crafting and stuff, but it seems like it's pretty much impossible because there's always zombies trying to kill me, so it keeps me from using any type of menu. I have five bullets left in this shotgun. I need to... even a thing. Honestly. Okay. Um what's happening? Oh boy. Huh. Strike team. Report. What the hell just happened? Interesting. So I'm assuming there's something to be done in the other dimension, you know? But I have no idea, obviously, what that something is, so... Yeah, like, there's gotta be a way to, like, pack a punch, for example. Which probably has to be done in the other dimension, if I'm guessing, but then you have to, like, go somewhere to do it or something, you know? Which... I, I am getting a little bit... Once the doors open up... It like open from turning the power on. It gave you a lot more places to go. Ooh. They won't know what hit them. And it definitely made getting around a little bit more difficult. Like at first, like because I honestly was just super lost, you know. <sighs> okay, I am going to try craft if possible. Lethal. I don't really see anything super useful about crafting, honestly. I could just be missing the point, but I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Mm. I think I'm going to try to find more beverages. You know, make myself a little better, if you will. I think they're yeah, there we go. Oh god, hello. This tundra is pretty cool or whatever, but it does not have a large ammo uh, supply, right? So I feel like that is a problem. Kill enemies to reopen anomaly. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, I missed. Obviously, this thing is going to F zombies up to the head. But it's not a one shot to the body. And other than point blank, which there you go, even then I missed, uh, this is a difficult weapon to use. So I don't know that I can keep this up, honestly. Oh, there's a dog. One less screen. Oh, I fucked up. That's not the way I wanted to go. Oh, God. Wait. I had Quick Revive. Oh, man. Dude, Quick Revive in the past was always, like, a self-revive in solo. So it's completely worthless then in solo. That's unfortunate. Ah. Oh. Well, you know what? That's all right. We got to round 12. We had 120 limbs. And we were trying to learn, right? We were just trying to figure out the game. So, 
just getting to play it and figure that out is definitely needed. So yeah, I went in there with a weapon with no attachments, but obviously you can actually... like equip up a gun and like go in there with that and then you have the f frost th so the frost breath is the thing that oh what's this tactical gun is earning field upgrades okay yeah so we can also do this create a mine of pure energy that detonates on proximity of enemies dealing explosive damage see i'd rather have that that's cooler oh i have an ethereum crystal available I can upgrade something. Oh my god. Like, I can upgrade perks, weapon mods, the energy things. Like, I can make it last longer for the cool thing. Oh my god. Increase close quarter damage by 10%. Hell yes. Or submachine guns. Increase close quarter damage by 10%. Man, I don't know. I think shotguns, dude. That shotgun, because you can buy a shotgun off the wall in the third room. And that shotgun was hella useful to begin with. 10% more damage will be sick. I don't even know how I got an Ethereum crystal. That's the only downside. So I don't know what it's going to take for me to get more. But shotguns are awesome, so let's start there. Okay. God, there's a lot going on here, guys. A lot to unpack. It's a lot to unpack. So we're going to have to keep digging in this was a really long recording since i was you know starting a fresh sentence a session wanted to figure out what call of duty zombies was about obviously there's a lot to unpack and this is super interesting so i'm very excited this is gonna be freaking awesome i hope you guys are just as pumped as i am uh i appreciate you hanging in as long as you have and, and i hope you enjoyed yourself if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that little bell icon that youtube is so fond of and I will see each and every one of you on the next episode.